Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Lorena, and we're making some portraits. I had been looking at a lot of the photography that inspired me when I first started, and one person that I really loved was Irving Penn, and I was looking at a lot of his work that's a really simple window light type stuff, and I thought it'd be nice to do a kind of a classic black and white portrait in that style, and for me, it's kind of interesting because um, normally, and I say this a lot, so you probably see me say it in videos, when I'm shooting photographing female subjects, I like to keep my light kind of more of a butterfly pattern, like overhead, and Penn often shot everybody, male, female, whatever, with a lot of kind of side light and shadow and stuff, so um, today we're going to embrace the shadows and, and make a portrait of Lorena using, uh, you know, a much more side light with some shadow on her face and let some of the, the details drop away because I think it can be really interesting for portraits. So I just have the, uh, my Hasselblad here, it's a, the X1D with the 90 millimeter lens. It's uh, plugged into Focus software, which is Hasselblad's tethering software. And I'm using a Profoto B1X. I'm just using one softbox to kind of simulate the window, if you will. Um, and I took this old piece of board that I have in my studio and just put it against the background so there's something back there to make it a little bit interesting. Um, we're shooting at, uh, we're going to shoot at around uh, 5.6 at 500 of a second. Um, ISO 100 to kind of eliminate the light in the space because I'm in a daylight studio, of course. And you might say, Daniel, why don't you just use the window? I could have used that, I suppose, but the, it wasn't giving me the contrast I wanted. The studio has so much light bouncing around, so this gives me the control. Um, and I'm able to shoot, and if I made a frame without any flash right now, right, what we're gonna get is, is a black frame. So this means that, actually I think I see your earrings. You weren't earrings? No. Oh, I don't see earrings, there's dirt, it's dirt on my screen. But um, yeah, so you see there's a black frame here. That means none of the light and space is affecting my shot, which means only the soft boxes. I already metered it, so we should be pretty good, but I'll take a shot just to check and make sure. Um, again, 90 millimeter lens. A lot of this kind of stuff was done, um, you know, with like roll of flexes and stuff like that back around, so around 80 millimeter lenses, or 80s on Hasselblads. So very popular, there we go, sleeping, it's good. That's always a good one. Listen, you never know when a frame with the eyes closed might work for you. This could become the famous frame that, that somehow signifies uh, Lorena later in life. So we're not gonna throw that one away. All right, so we'll try another one with the eyes open maybe. So, nice, good. Nice shot, shadows coming across, really beautiful. Um, I actually like it in color, it's just beautiful skin. It's, it's got a nice vibrance to it, but I really wanted to go black and white for this. So in focus, I can come over um, into their uh, exposure adjustment here, and I'm just gonna go to my grayscales, hit that. Um, and they've got a few different options here. Uh, this is the standard one. Red filter is probably gonna make it kind of, make my highlights glow, so I'm gonna put it on red filter. Um, that's gonna give me a bit, and we can see up here how it makes the skin glow, you know? Which I think is really nice. And of course, we have the shadows, like I said, and you can actually see it falls off here. I'm not gonna worry about that. I know people, especially now with cameras that have a lot of dynamic range, people are really obsessed with like not losing any detail, but I think in this kind of portrait, it can be fine just to let it go. And of course, the beautiful shallow depth of field of the Hasselblad is giving me like a creamy background. So we'll shoot something like this, and then we'll mess around a little bit. So nice and simple. And again, these are raw files, which means that even though I'm doing this right now and shooting it in black and white so I can see what it's gonna look like, this is not a permanent adjustment. I can always go back if I want. Nice, nice and simple, just like that. She's working through a variety of poses. Um, and we'll see, and depending on where she turns her face, you know, you can see how the light falls differently, you know. Beautiful. Good. More. Nice. Okay, cool. So that's a nice combination. We got a bunch of stuff. We also, you also had a hat. Let's try the hat. Love hats. This was actually my hat, I confess, but she's going to wear it, so. The ability to put a hat on without a mirror is a, is a skill that Lorena has. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. That's good. No, that, that looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna frame it up a little differently with the hat. Let's see if that we like that. Should bring your chin like this, like this. Good. Here we go, let me do a test and make sure. Now what's interesting about the hat is, remember, because we're in black and white, oh, interesting. I might go back to color here, because the hat is red and hey, we might want to see that, right? So boom, it's back, magic, just like that. Okay, we'll try a few with the hat, see if we like it. It's always nice to bring a little prop in sometimes when you're shooting portrait, why not, right? Keep it nice and fresh. Oops, good. that would be a weird one, good. Nice. 
Good. Good, good, good. Beautiful. A couple more. Nice and simple. And maybe just because I feel like it. So interestingly enough, the, the, the image feels darker in color, which you know may or may not be to your taste. Let me just see. I think I might, for the color, I think I might add a reflector really quickly. I think I had one around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. I'm running away. This is what happens when I change stuff in the middle of the shoot. I'm just gonna bring this in, just for this. It's interesting to, to see like how shadows feel uh, in both black and white and color. You know, sometimes in, uh, in color, you don't want it to be quite as, that's nice like that with the chin up, good. Let me just look. Yeah, see it fills in a bit more. That might, I actually like that better. Let me get a little bit of a composition. That's nice. Good. Yeah, that's very nice. I'm still letting it fall off contrasty into this like kind of black of the uh, the, the turtleneck that she's got on, um, but her face is more evenly lit, and the red hat it's really showing through. Which I think it'll be really nice against the skin. So it's actually really pretty, you know, two kind of different but similar type shots. Let's just end with without the hat again. I want to go back to black and white just for a couple, make sure we get it. So I'm going to throw my black and white back on. I'm going to lose this reflector. Creep in a little tighter for the last ones. So I'm coming in tighter just for the different variation. Yeah, there we go. It's nice, right there. Good focusing. Just check it again to make sure. Yeah, I like that. Good. Remember that the, with your distance to subject is really important because if you're closer to somebody, it definitely feels more intimate. And when you're making a portrait, that can be very nice, especially you know, a portrait that is, is of a personality versus just, let's say, a portrait for, I don't know, a high school senior or something. So if you're doing something that wants to feel more emotional attachment, sometimes it's nicer to be closer to your subject. Just not so close that it makes their nose too big. I change my focus point. For the last one, I want to try to frame this up more square. Okay, here we go. Hold like that. Focusing. Beautiful. Here we go. Nice. We gotta check that one because I think I moved. The medium format, you gotta be oh, sharp. Okay. You're really careful with medium format because every little bit makes a difference when you're moving around. This camera is so tiny, it feels like a DSLR, but it's still medium format, so depth of field is very shallow. Gotta be wary of that. So, you know. Be inspired by other photographers. Uh, take shots that you like and try to make them your own and get cool people like uh, Lorena to pose for you. It makes it even easier. Um, you can find Lorena, by the way, on social media. We'll put the links in the uh, description here. You can find me, Daniel Norton Photographer, on Facebook and on YouTube here. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, of course, and I'll see you next time on set.